Right, let's take a look at the Krieger Trail 18 Adventure Touring Backpack. I've been using this now for ooh, about 15,000 Ks and uh, in a broad spectrum of use as well, which is quite interesting. And we'll talk about that later. On the back, you've got a seven litre uh, compartment, which is uh, non-waterproof, as you can see there. There's an adapt uh, a strap here that you can fit a water reservoir. I'll talk about that in a minute. And inside you've got a number of features. First of all, you've got a uh, one litre waterproof compartment in there. And you've also got a zip access point there. For example, I've got my wallet in there. So in the back of the uh, backpack, you've also got two of these, which are like elasticated partitions where you can securely put drink bottles and things. And that's a nice touch because what it does is then it keeps your liquids away from your waterproof bag because you don't want, obviously, uh, if that does leak, cross contaminate into your, your dry bag itself. So there's two of those, you can fit two litre bottles, for example, if perhaps you don't want to carry a reservoir with you. In the back here, you have the main compartment, which is 11 litres, fully waterproof. And if you're familiar with Krieger products, it comes obviously with the removable liner. It's white in colour, so you can identify bits and pieces within your main compartment. Roll top, as always. And then two nice, strong clasps to hold it all together. Right at the back, you've got this external Hyperlon uh, net. Hyperlon extremely, extremely tough, and it's great for just stashing whatever you want in the back. For example, I've used it in, you know, on tour for just putting a waterproof in when the sun's come out and then they dry nice and easy, or you can equally just store stuff in there you need to get out quickly. Uh, this is genius, this Hyperlon sort of honeycomb net. I wish, Krieger, if you're listening, I wish you'd retrofit something like this onto your OS panniers, because that would be brilliant for exactly the same reason. Obviously, as well as the quad lock system, if you so wish, you can run with a waist strap as well. That'll go around there to keep it really secure. Personally, I don't use this, but I suppose if you were really going into the uh, into the sticks and doing some serious off-roading, then this would be uh, advantageous. Right on top of the uh, backpack, you'll see a loop there just for hanging it up, and also a very, very handy and extremely sturdy uh, handle just for carrying it around when it's off your back. And looking at the back of the uh, backpack itself and you can see it's got a semi-rigid plate in here to obviously uh, maintain rigidity but that over time will mold to your back making it even more comfortable and as you can see here on mine look it started to uh, mold itself to the shape of my back or the body armor on the back of my jacket when you first get this pack you're going to need to have to adjust it to your height you'll notice there's some indicators three two and one they aren't really referring to <laughs> whether it's large medium or, or small they're really more markers, so you can make sure you've got a, symmetri a symmetrical uh, setup with your straps here, and I'll show you how to adjust it. Obviously, you want the uh, the quad lock to be sat somewhere around your chest, but again, that's personal preference. So you can obviously extend or reduce the size of these straps because they go into the body of the backpack itself, so they can come out and back in depending on how big you are. Also, don't assume that just because you're tall, that uh, you'll have it on the longer setting because everybody's back length is different. You could be a short uh, guy or girl, but with a long spine. So you need to personally get this set up and then see what you're comfortable with. I'll show you how to adjust it. So for example, if I wanted to reduce the size of it, simply using this buckle, pull it out. I want to get that to the same size. There I am. And then as you can see now, there's an excess of shoulder strap that just simply slides in like that. And there you can see those two are now symmetrical. So I know the strap length on either side is bang on. But I'd also recommend obviously when you're doing that, make sure you've got all your riding gear on because that will have an effect on it. And ideally, um, load it up with a similar sort of weight you think you're gonna be carrying. Then you'll get a much more accurate uh, idea you probably have to test it just a few times as you're going along but eventually you'll hit that sweet spot with the weight that you're carrying uh, and so you're nice and comfortable with it i also noted that as i was um, riding with it the first few times it was quite tight on my chest that's not a problem because all you've got to do is simply with your thumb even as you're riding pull that out and that'll extend and ease a bit of pressure off your chest but obviously the more pressure you're releasing off the chest 
the more weight will go into your shoulder. So there's a nice balance there, but you will find it doesn't take long. Like I say, within a day, I was pretty much happy. The first thing I did was get this pouch here, which is the Pocket XL. Now these come in left or right versions. This is the right hand one because it sits on the left hand strap to be accessed with a right hand zip, which makes life a lot easier. You can also get something called Trail Pockets, which is two one litre pouches that fit. And if you look on uh, Krieger's website, you'll see those. I haven't got those. I don't think I need them. But this pouch here was really, really useful when I was touring because as I was going to uh, crossing on ferries, going across borders, things like that. I kept all my important documents in there or my wallet. I could get to stuff. I didn't have to take my backpack off when I was refueling. I could just get my wallet out, credit card um, on the fuel stations and then keep moving so this is really useful and i'd probably recommend this i can't see why you wouldn't need something like this on a day-to-day -day basis more recently i've just gone out and got the uh, krieger three liter drinking reservoir as you can see you get all the the parts you need to fit it on i've put both sets of velcro on you don't need to uh, it depends on which configuration you want to set it up for because this will fit in a, in a wide range of their backpacks the uh, the drinking reservoir fits on these straps here so it can't go anywhere and it's easy to remove it if you need to and the um, the drinking straw itself is a quick release and it's a non-drip as well so you can quickly get this out fill it up without having to remove your drinking straw and reconnect it like that and off you go so i've been using this this now for about a year again a lot of mileage initially i got it for a 7,000 kilometer tour um, and I didn't realise I threw it on my back and my mate said to me, are you going to be right with a rucksack on your back for that whole time? And I thought, gee, you know, maybe you're right. But I was. It was really comfortable, no issues whatsoever. Uh, and I had this thing on my back for eight plus hours a day and there's no problems. This really, really is genuinely a great bit of kit and I, and I really do recommend it. So there you have it. That's the Krieger Trail 18 Adventure Touring Backpack. It is, in my opinion, brilliant. Um, I would highly recommend it if you're in the market certainly give it a look even if you're not into the whole adventure bike scene um, it's still a very 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 capable backpack I hope this helps uh, stay safe guys and um, keep riding